Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how you can root your LG G3 on Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now it's going to work on Lollipop and KitKat as well, so if you're running an older version and you still want to root, you can, but if you once you get the Lollipop update and you want to root, you can follow this video. Now it's also been tested and working on all variants of the LG G3, whether it's running Android 4.4 or Android 5.0. I'm on Android 4.4 right now because T-Mobile hasn't got the Lollipop update, but like I said, it does work on Android 5.0 Lollipop as well. All right, so let's get going. You first need to go into settings, scroll all the way down, go to about phone, and then go ahead and select software information. And like I said, I'm on Android 4.4, but it will work on Android 5.0 as well. And quickly tap build number about seven times until it says you are now a developer. And then go ahead and back out twice and you'll see developer options show up now under system settings. So select developer options. Uh, it says warning, just uh, I'm gonna hit okay. And then I want you to check USB debugging and hit okay. So make sure USB debugging is checked. You can go back home now. You need to download two files. Um, shout out to Unjustified Dev for putting together the script and Avico for putting together the one-click script. So go click on the link in the description. There's two downloads, one for the drivers, one for the one-click script. So if you have the drivers installed in your PC, you're good to go, but otherwise install the drivers and then uh, go ahead and install the one uh, download the one-click script as well. All right, and once you have the drivers installed on your PC and you have the LG root script downloaded, you'll see it here. It's a self-extracting archive, actually. So what I recommend you do is on your uh, desktop, I'm just gonna right click, hit new and folder, and then I'm gonna call it something like G3 root, just so you know what it is, et cetera, because we're gonna extract, extract some files into that folder. So now what you should do is go ahead and double click on this. I have seven zip if for some reason it's not working on your PC. Let's go ahead and double click on the script and it's, it'll be a self extracting archive. You'll see it's trying to throw it in the downloads folder. I'm gonna select the three dots there. And then on my desktop, you'll notice that you wanna find that LG G3, or just the G3 root folder. Select it right here, hit okay, and hit extract. Now it's gonna quickly extract into that folder, so you can double click on it. And inside that folder is now another folder that's called LG root script. Go ahead and double click on that. And then you got a bunch of files in here, so perfect, ready to go. It's got everything here. ADB, it's got the update zip file, everything. But you, what the main thing we want to see is this LG root script.bat. So now what you can do is actually grab your LG G3 and grab your micro USB cable as well and plug your phone into your PC. Now if need be, let it install drivers or anything on your computer. Also, if you run into problems, you can change it from MTP to PTP as well if you have any issues at all with the script. So just double click on the LG root script and then it's gonna open up this command prompt like so. It's gonna start ADB server, wait for the device. Um, if it's stuck and waiting for device, like I said, you could switch from MTP to PTP to change it. You might wanna try rebooting device, uh, your device. You might wanna try and reboot your computer, try a different USB cable, try a different USB port as well. All right, so now you'll see device detected. It said pushing files, rebooting, and it says now looking for LG serial port. All right, so now my device rebooted. I believe looking for LG serial port means it's looking for uh, download mode, actually, but now it says rebooting into download mode, waiting for device. So it's gonna reboot it once more into download mode. Here we go. So you'll see firmware update right here. Do not plug it, uh, unplug the device, obviously. Now it says if you don't see the Super SU installer script running within a minute, then the root has failed. So we'll see if it uh, starts the SuperSU installer script, which it should just fine. All right, so after about 30 seconds, it uh, did a bunch of things, rooting the device, um, and now it's gonna reboot your phone. It says done, pressing a key to exit. So our phone should now be rooted, and I'll show you that actually after it reboots. So I'm gonna press a key to exit on the script. Now we can go ahead and go back to our phone. You don't need to plug it in anymore. The script's done. You can unplug it if you'd like to. I'll be back once it's done rebooting. All right, so phone is rebooted. Now within the app drawer, I should see a Super SU app just to confirm that it was working. There it is, Super SU right there. Now that doesn't necessarily mean we're rooted. We want to double check. I installed an app called Root Checker. You can get it in the Play Store. So I'm going to go into it. Um, I'm gonna agree, I'm gonna hit okay. Now, uh, you wanna verify root, actually, and then, so click it. You're gonna wanna allow super user permissions once it pops up, which will basically confirm that we are now rooted. All right, so there you go, super user request. You can grant it or whatever, you can deny it if you want. This basically, this screen shows us we are now rooted. Hit grant, 
There we go, congratulations, root access is properly installed on the device. So that's it. Very simple, one-click script uh, to root your LG G3 on Android 4.4 KitKat and Android 5.0 Lollipop. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, just leave a comment. Uh, if you could subscribe to me, I'd really appreciate it. We're getting really close to 150,000 50, subscribers, so if you want to do that, join in. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.